honor and respects this is Francisca Brujo Luis and I'm doing a video today because it's a rainy uh, New England day in the month of October and one of the biggest questions that I get on my channel is what are some of the most influential books that I you know that I read or that I have read that have influenced me in, in my traditional spiritual path uh, a lot of people uh, Especially when I was growing up, when I was a kid, uh, teenagers around my age, they were collecting comic books, Superman, Batman, and all that. I was always collecting uh, books and tomes of magic and, and, and spell books. So I thought that would be a great video to talk about is uh, some of the books that have influenced me and what I've collected uh, through the years. Okay, most of the books that I I enjoy collecting, there are people who, who who enjoy collecting different things. I personally like to collect grimoires and books of shadows. I personally enjoy to collect grimoires and books of shadows, and and books of magics. So my library is is pretty big, uh, and this will probably probably be the first of maybe two or three part video on this so I'm gonna start with this one this one's t titled a treasury of witchcraft it is hardback because I personally enjoy a uh, hard copy books and if you notice I like to place a, a plastic covering on all my books especially my hard copies because I just enjoy a uh, I just like to in in protect uh, my investments uh, this one was printed I think it was first published in 1961, and please do not quote me on the dates. I might have the dates wrong, but it, it was written by, right here, this is the writer. Okay, now I'm just going to go through uh, random pages of the book. It has a lot of uh, woodcuts and a lot of beautiful pictures and images a lot of spells and incantations from various traditions of witchcraft uh, from around uh, the world. It has a lot of beautiful uh, woodcuts, a lot of beautiful imagery. It has uh, magic from various traditions, whether it's traditional uh, European magic, uh, magic from Arabia, uh, Asia, biblical magic. Now, this book, if you practice uh, Wicca, this would definitely not be a book for you because this book has uh, spells on both uh, the left hand path and the right hand path. So it has a, here's one for the, for a prayer for the magic of the wand. And here's one, how to consecrate pentacles, which would be from the key of Solomon. Uh, but if you practice Wicca or tradition, there's a lot of Christian magic in here. Uh, if you practice a tradition such as Wicca, this probably would not be for you, as this is more a traditional uh, witchcraft. Uh, it is part uh, magical spells and part history. So you will find a lot of history in this book and a lot of uh, spells and a lot of beautiful pictures and woodcuts and images on how uh, witchcraft was thought, you know, some of the history from earlier shamanistic times to European, uh, you know, the 1800s and all that some of them I got a uh, yellowed out because I like to search them out and go back you know and find them easily but you will see that I've yellowed out some things that uh, you know that I found interesting there's a lot of book uh, a lot of stuff on like black masses and Satanism now, a lot of people ask me for a person who uh, follows Espiritismo and, and practices uh, Latin Hispanic brujeria. Why would I be interested in in in, in magic that deals with uh, black magic? You know, the left hand path. There's a beautiful image of, uh, I think it's Lucifer falling down from heaven. 
you know, in order to know your enemies, you must know how your enemies think. So, you know, you should try to educate yourself and, and be a scholar in understanding how your enemies may think or what they may do in their magical practices. Not that I personally uh, practice on any of that, but I enjoy uh, reading about that. So, you know, I, I, I love to be educated in, in all things that interest me. There, there's traditions. In this book, you'll find uh, magic from Africa as well. You see some pictures from, you know, African uh, witchcraft or African sorcery. And a lot of European. Like I said, this would not be for those people who practice Wicca, as there are some, you know, light left-hand path as well as right-hand path. Magic is energy. Uh, magic is neither black nor white. It is in the heart of the person who practices their personal magic. It is an energy. It's a, it's a force. It's neither uh, good nor bad. It is just a force. It's an energy. So I personally enjoy to learn. I've always have, in, you know, personally enjoyed you know, learning about all that. And this is called A Treasury of Witchcraft. I think this was published in 1961. Another book that I would like to talk about is Helping Yourself with White uh, Witchcraft by Al G. Manning. I think this will be the only Wiccan book that I will speak of in this video. Uh, I personally don't collect, you know, I, I enjoy books that are old. Uh, anything from 1980s and down, that's what I, I personally like to enjoy to collect. I enjoy to collect hardcover books. Uh, I don't purchase anything New Agey. I, new Age annoys me. I don't really purchase anything from Llewellyn. I, I, there is, I, I mean, they, you know, they're, 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 it's got its market and it's got its people that enjoy it. Me personally, I don't. This will be one of the only books on Wicca that I that I do have. This book, I think, was published in 1972. It is a hard copy book. And like you see, I protect the cover. And I, I enjoyed uh, this book. You know, I, it was published in 1972. It is more of a wider magic practically mostly uh, white witchcraft while a treasury of witchcraft has both the left and the right hand path this is more positive magic more uh, white uh, magic light magic and I think it was from this book that I learned uh, the, pyra the pyramid of the magus I think it was from this book I'm not sure if it was from this book it's been a while since I've read it uh, mostly spells are of, of just oh just pretty pretty much of, of protection you will find some uh, seals you know some seals this is the seal of I think it's Saturn and this is the Seder the Seder spell and it is written with English uh, lettering instead of the traditional uh, Hebrew lettering that you will find in older uh, in older grimoires or in older spell books this is the one for Venus. Make sure, yes. And like I said, it's got the English lettering instead of uh, the traditional uh, Hebrew lettering. And it's the conjuration is spelled out in English and how you would use that in your magic. So, yeah, I purchased this, I think. Well, I, I got this book, I think in the 80s in an old bookstore and it's been with me all you know ever since then it's one of the rare few books that i have on wicca like i said i really don't purchase books on wicca i i enjoy traditional witchcraft books on traditional magic so i highly recommend this as one of those books on wicca that i personally enjoyed while this is more of a lighter magic this is both a, more of a historical as well as black and white magic, if you want to call it that, or hot energy and cool energy. It's got beautiful pictures. This one was a print. This one was published in 19, I think 1961. 1961. This was, I think, 1972. 
The next book that I would like to show you is called The Handbook of Supernatural Powers by Vasara, another a hard co you know, cover book. This was gifted to me by an Itako shaman, a Cuban, a Cuban Japanese Itako shaman. He placed a seal of protection and he and he signed it to me. And I mean, it is a beautiful book. I think this was print published in 1977. I may be wrong on that. And again, the book is full of, um, of nice, beautiful pictures. This is how the days of the week is used in magic. The planetary hours. This picture I often see in uh, the Witch's Almanac. If you haven't seen my uh, video on the Witch's Almanac, it, it, you know, you can check that out. But Again, this is pretty much basic uh, witchcraft. Not necessarily Wicca, as it is more traditional witchcraft. And it has some pictures, but, but mostly, uh, you know, spells and how you would use them in your magic. I think this book was published in 1977. It is a hard cover book. Sorry about that, that I'm ruffling through the pages with one hand. But yes, I definitely, if you can find this book, I definitely recommend it. One of the first books that I ever read on witchcraft, I must have been a 13 years old. Now, at the time, I had seen books on witchcraft, brujeria, Hispanic brujeria, but they were mostly in Spanish. This was the first book I had ever seen in English, in the English language of witchcraft. And I found this book in a library. Well, not this actual book. I, you know, uh, the actual book that I found in the library, I think I let a friend borrow and I lost it along the way. Uh, but this was one of the most influential books that I still use today. It was published in 1970. I found this copy, this copy in uh, Salem, I think for $40. And if you can find it for $40 hardback, first printing, this is the author, Paul Husson, one of my favorite uh, writers. If you can find a first printing for that price, $40, get it, uh, because they, they can go $100 and more. Okay, uh, but this was, like I said, I found the first time I found this book was in the library. I was like 13 years old, and yeah, I stole it. <laughs> you know, I, I did take it. I didn't have a library card then, but I did take it, and it was with me for many years. And I think I let a friend borrow it, and I lost it, you know, along the way. And then I came to it in Salem. Right here is the Padre Nuestro, the Our Father, in backwards. Right here is the Our Father in backwards, and it has nothing to do with devil worshipping. It has to do more with stripping away uh, conventionality. But it has to do more with conventionality, okay, and stripping away the way that you were raised uh, to think about things that have to do uh, with the occult and with magic. Uh, this has nothing really to do with devil worshipping. Uh, it is, it's part uh, traditional witchcraft and part stregaria. Throughout the book you will find some seals and uh, a lot of spells and basically this was one of the most this is the most influential book um when i purchased this when i purchased this book i'm mean, actually i didn't purchase it when i was a kid and i stole it from the library i remember purchasing books afterwards and they were mostly about wicca and it just they never fed me and not to disrespect any modern day books on witchcraft this is the padre nostor which is the our father this is the Seder spell. Not to disrespect any uh, modern day books on magic, especially, you know, witchcraft, especially those books uh, published by Llewellyn. But if you read one, you practically read them all. Uh, so I 
basically I generally don't purchase anything that is new I just don't like it I like my books old 1980s and 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 down but this was one of the most influential and it's very hard for me to change the pages with one hand but you can practically use this book in itself just in your magical uh, workings and I definitely highly recommend this book another book that I highly recommend and I've had these since the 80s is the witch's spell book by Tarot Star it pretty much let me get the blur out of the way it pretty much is just a spell book and I think I've had this since 1986 I was in the 80s uh, it's always been with me and it's a book that I like to go back and, and read upon and, and, and look on. And I don't know if they publish these anymore, but if you can get your hands on it, I definitely recommend it as a spell book. It is beautiful. It has a lot of um, seals influenced by either voodoo or European uh, witchcraft. It has a lot of incantations, a lot of spells every page has a picture that's why I personally enjoy uh, Tarot Star as a writer I, I wish he would do more work uh, this is another book by Tarot Star which is titled The Witch's Formulary and Spell Book again by Tarot Star and I think this was published 1986 and this is just a spell book and as you can see it has uh, both black and white magic uh, every page has a spell and illustrations uh, you can see when I was a kid I must have done this because I wrote all over it but yeah if you can get these books by Tarot Star I definitely highly recommend it these are traditional witchcraft it has nothing to do with religion it has nothing to do with religion as a witchcraft it's more you know witchcraft as a craft uh, the best way I can explain it is if you're a plumber you don't go to the church of plumbery uh, and the same thing I believe in witchcraft uh, you can be a witch and be any religion Hindu Christian uh, pagan whatever it may be but your witchcraft is separate from it, it is your craft it is a family tradition that you follow or that you just do you know naturally and it doesn't have to have dogmas I mean it's beautiful that there are religions uh, based on witchcraft but I personally just enjoy a uh, traditional raw witchcraft the last book on here is one of the oldest books. This one's paperback, and I'm trying to find it in hard copy. Uh, I think it was published in the 1800s, and is uh, Gypsy, Sorcery, and Fortune Telling by Charles uh, Goofrey Leland. What I love about this book, this is mostly Romani witchcraft uh, throughout Europe. What I love about this book is... Uh, from Spain and, and, and all through Europe. What I love about this book is the woodcuts and the pictures throughout the book. I mean, it is beautiful. If you can get a copy, I would definitely recommend you get a copy. It's just, you know, interesting to have as, you know, something so that you learn your history on your traditions and, and what you believe in. So I definitely recommend this book. So in closing, uh, these are just some of the books that I, I personally enjoy. Uh, I will I have a whole bunch of books, uh, and I just picked out a few handful just to show you some of the books that I personally enjoy uh, reading and collecting. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. If you have books that you rec would recommend to people, uh, do a video on that. Do a VR on what books of magic or witchcraft you recommend uh, to to readers uh, but this will be a first this would this is just the first I'll probably do two or three more on this and I hope you enjoyed this video if you do please uh, hit that like button uh, please leave a comment please subscribe and please share on your favorite social media this is Sancista Brujo Luis 
Santo Sanse.